what's going on YouTube. I got another update here. Just out here feeding the fish. And, uh, I'm sure that's their favorite time of the day. But uh, so far everything seems to be just about the same. Everything's growing great. I've got some uh, good growth here. It's all starting to pop off the top here. I meant to mention this in the last video and didn't. Um, so it's actually starting to take off pretty good. And uh, starting to get some life coming back to it. Come around over here. Well, let's let it stand up super tall. Nice and tall. Strawberries all just about the same. No fruit yet. Uh, just uh, starting to come back into their own. Everything's starting to green up really good. And uh, come over here. And all of a sudden, whoa, what do we got over here? I've got a new uh, filter design. I uh, went ahead and pulled... The whole 90 degree, uh, or uh, shut off, well 90 degree with the shut off design completely out of there. And uh, we plumbed it so it's just, uh, pretty much it goes down. You get a little gravity going into there. And it's a straight shot, straight two. One over here of course, and one over here. And uh, if you look down in there, you can see right there around the bucket lid, I got some bio balls. And uh, I actually shot some video when I was making this. Um, so let's go ahead and check out that info. Well, here we go. I've removed this bucket completely out of the equation. I've removed my gasket and this piece, which is clogging this hole right here. Pulled all this stuff out. Uh, I've already drilled myself a new hole in that one for the drain. Installed that sucker already. This time I put two holes right in front of it. I'm gonna try to do uh, the drain on the bottom. And then the top one will be for the uh, supply water coming in. And, uh, I don't know, let's put this together, got to uh, put the bio balls down there, uh, put the lid on here, install the drain on there, uh, the overflow drain I'm talking about, this one right here, and we'll be ready to put this right back into service. Bio balls in, and all I need is that lid on there, and install the drain. Okay, and that's about it, got the drain on there, probably going to put it down a little bit this time. Got that pipe cut off, right even with the hole, so we can put that in. That way I can remove the lid without uh, having to mess with this pipe anymore. Well, let's see if this works. Alrighty, I just got this thing plumbed up, shortened that length of pipe just a little bit. It comes right in here, the overflow, bio balls in the bottom, and I'm about to turn this thing on. So let's go ahead and plug this sucker in and see what kind of uh, action we get out of this thing. It's on. And I can hear water coming in. And it comes past the bio balls. So far from out here, no leaks around that. Another good thing about this lid here is uh, that'll hold all the bio balls down because they'll want to float and roll around underneath there. At least that's what I've been told. Uh, that's the moment we're waiting for. And we've got overflow. So, starting to build up a little bit. Vacuum. There we go. We got some nice water going. It's pretty fast, but uh, it'll be working for now. Excellent. It's working pretty good. I plumbed it down and then it's over and up. That way it'll force the water uh, hopefully evenly. Actually, it looks like this side's getting less water than the other side, so I'm just going to have to adjust that real quick. And that should be it on that. And that's just how I made this sucker. So I've got a lid ready to go on top of here. And now I'll throw that on. And now with this new design, everything seems to be good. One thing I may do is remove that lid altogether. Where the bio balls can just sit there and like roll around in there and do their whole thing and have fun. Not sure yet. But one thing I did find that was really cool is check out the water level. I put this little adapter on there, a uh, little piece of pipe just to raise the level a little bit. I brought it right to there. Check that out. I love when you see water doing tricks like this. 
where um, that water is actually up and over that hole. But just like water does sometimes when you get it that right there at the top, it nothing's leaking out. It's the craziest. I love this kind of stuff. Because if you come right over here and look, there's no water. It's completely dry there. And it's not draining out at all. So that's one thing I find really, really cool. I mean, literally, it's... If you look at that, it's up on either side. It should be flowing right out of that hole. But it's just that static that holds it right in there. Love it. But that's all I've got this week. Just a little progress. Cleaned everything out. That whole basket. Cleaned all that out. When I pulled the old filter, uh, the old filter bucket, when I was cleaning it out, I noticed at the very bottom I had like a good half inch worth of uh, fish poop sludge just all on the bottom. So it was only in there for, what was it, a couple weeks. And uh, as you can see, the setup's pretty big. And, uh, you know, probably won't get a lot of fish poop uh, just the way that it sucks up from the bottom. But uh, I actually had some in there, so that was pretty cool. So when I cleaned it out, I threw it into the grass over there. I'm sure we're going to get a nice little uh, grass growing over there. But that's all I've got. So until next week, YouTube.